Hey everyone, Matt Pasarczyk with RazorEmporium.com. Today to talk about one of the most famous Gillette razors to ever come on the scenes, the Gillette Bulldog. Now a lot of razors today like to claim the Bulldog handle, the Bulldog style, HD handle, short, stout handle. Where does it all come from? Right here. So we're gonna show you this set. Originally debuting in 1914 and going to about 1920, 21, basically with the advent of the new improved, the old type Bulldog razor featured this very ornate spiral kind of barbershop pole style handle. It was a positive grip, as Gillette called it. And being kind of a fatter, stouter handle, um, they also said it had a better balance. And if you see, balance point is just about maybe half an inch uh, below the, the neck. So it is a good, a good balance point. Now this is part of the single ring series, so it's gonna be denoted by the curved uh, guard with the open comb and the stabilizer pins. These are individually serial numbered, and if you open them up, you're gonna find that number right here on the guard, and it's gonna feature a letter code and a six digit number, and that's the number in production of that specific razor. These were originally finished in gold and silver, and as you see on this specific example here, this is a silver plating. Now, at Razor Emporium, we don't touch any of the original patina on razors, so this is the original silver plating, and it's turned to a smoky, dark gray. It's beautiful, in my opinion. Absolutely beautiful piece. I would never polish it. Of course, I'd also never use it, so that's why it looks so beautiful. Um, speaking of antique, the original case offered was what was called antique gray leather. Now, you see it here, and it has this kind of iridescent blue grayish look to it, and they were even calling it antique in 1914, which is kind of ironic, but I guess antiques are completely subjective to the time they come out in. Um, nonetheless, this case combination is quite hard to find. If you find this little guy like this, definitely very sought after. Kind of a miniature version of the combination set. It was also offered in the full-size combination set, but this is just the razor by itself. More famously, the Bulldog was put into uh, this set, and we have the original shipper, of course, and this has the traditional shave mirror, comes out from the side here, and we have our two travel tubes for soap and for a brush, our two blade banks for the 20 blades as advertised by Gillette, and of course the razor handle itself. Now a lot of people like to think of the, the military officer set as a GI issued thing that if you were an officer, you'd be getting this given to you instead of the standard khaki razor. That's not the case. These were sold to civilians from day one. They were never army issued, way too nice. If you wanted to buy one of these and bring it along with you uh, overseas to Europe for World War I, you could do that. It was never army issued. Um, nonetheless, still very sought after in this traditional green kind of um, olive drab, khaki kind of uh, fabric here. Really, really nice kind of canvasy fabric. Um, these razors are on the more aggressive side to use. In fact, we did a shave just recently with these and they are very nice but aggressive. So if you like that blade feel and more of a close shave, this is definitely gonna del deliver it. Um, some of the common problems, unfortunately, with any of these single ring razors is going to be splits or hairline cracks in the tube. And that just comes from the construction, the fact that you have a hollow tube handle with this big long barrel and you're applying force by uh, tightening it on both sides. You're squeezing this barrel and that's usually why it causes a crack. Although I would say that the Bulldogs happen less than the standard khaki ball end old type razors. Um, another common thing if you have a, any kind of a tooth guard is gonna be these teeth being bent out of place we get asked all the time, can we fix bent teeth? Generally speaking, no. Um, most times you try to bend it and it just breaks off. Then it goes from being worth something to being worth practically nothing. So I'd leave it alone if I were you. Uh, in terms of price, when these came out in the, in the set like this, you'd see them for $5. Um, as a combination set, you can see the price tag right on here, $8. Uh, but they, they had gold plating options without a buck. They had engraving options, you know, ways you can get a price up to almost $50. In today's money, even the $5 set, 
would be worth about $123 in today's dollars. Um, you can imagine the $8 set would probably be something like $150 or $175 in today's money. So I always remind people of that. When you see a Gillette set, this was something that was very special. It was you know, expensive even in the day to buy. And uh, it was not something for everyday man. They did have the brownie sets, the dollar sets, 39 cent sets. But if you saw the big guy here in the big presentation case, you knew someone was buying it with who had a little bit of money, a little bit of uh, air of distinction amongst their purchasing power. In terms of rarity on these sets, I would have to give it about a three and a half out of five. Um, certainly if you just found the razor by itself, maybe in the three and a half. If you start getting into um, get, you know, the original case, you know, original box, original blade dispensers, and it's in good shape, I would certainly say it bumps it up to at least another half, maybe another full point, four, four and a half. Something like this set here. Haven't seen a lot of other ones in this antique style case and the little leather bulldog uh, holder. The military set uh, being found with the fabric looking nice and all the original parts, no cracks, no bent teeth, no broken teeth. Certainly four, four and a half. Hard to find razors. This period of time is very interesting in general. I mean, it came out um, kind of on the heels of World War I. And don't forget that period of time for America. Uh, we were expanding, we were going westward, we were you know, innovating, and I think the bulldog was something kind of sold to the machismo, kind of macho man, kind of a bigger man's razor versus your standard single ring. And guys even back then cared about that. Guys wanted to have the bigger, heftier razor. And this did precede uh, the more famous big razor from Gillette, the Big Fellow. So if you want that classic look of the barber pole razor, the, old, the open comb design, the beautiful silver plating, gold plating, it does not get more classic than the Gillette Bulldog style razor. Um, and we do have these occasionally here at Razor Emporium. If you see one, make sure to get it because they go fast. We'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things wet shaving. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe.